What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm gonna show you on how to make a simple strafe locomotion system. It's gonna be a very easy video to follow, so let's get started. But first of all, I just wanted to mention that this is the first video in 2023, so happy new year to everyone. And now yes, let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing that we want to do is basically create our blend space. So we will be able to basically transition and blend between the different animations depending on our speed and direction. So just right click, go to animation, I'm going to create a new blend space. Now we're going to basically select our skeleton for our character. In my case, it will be the SK mannequin. But of course, if you have your own, you know, character, you can do so and use that one. So this is going to be basically strafe, you know, blend space. And let's go ahead and open this up. So we'll basically see that we have like a timeline and then the, we have different axis settings. So basically the horizontal axis will consist in our direction and it will basically go from minus 180 into 180. And then what I'm going to do is just say snap to grid so it'll be a bit easier later on. And then we'll have the vertical axis. This will be basically our speed and we go from 0 to 100. And again, I will say snap to grid, so it will be a bit easier to basically place our animations. Now, let's go ahead and get our animations. Now, in my case, I'm going to be using this Anim Starter Pack, but of course, you can use whatever animations that you want. So, this is a free uh, asset pack from the marketplace from Epic Games. So, again, I will be leaving it in the description just in case you want to grab it. So in our case, we're going to be using today the idle rival hip animation, the jog backwards rifle, the jog forward rifle, the jog left and right. Then what we're going to do is just right click and we target this into um, from UE4 to UE5 because it was using the old uh, mannequin. We want to use the new one so we can just click retarget and then we go. We have the new animations over here. So now we can go back into our strafe blend space and i'm just gonna search for rifle so i just have the new animations over here now you'll see that i have two different ones well basically one was from the old mannequin another one is from the new mannequin uh anyway just find your animations okay so let's go ahead and start with the idle animations so the thing is that we want to place at idle animations always when the uh, speed is zero so when the character is not moving so in our case we can just go and put an idle animation in the bottom for every single um you know grid over here so basically when the speed will be zero it will always uh, have the idle animation now we want to go into the forwards so basically when our speed will be more than 50 we want to basically play our um jogging animation over here and then the thing is that when we are a bit into the right, we basically want to play our going right. And then when we are a bit to the left, we want to go and play our left animation. So we can just get, for example, the right animation and just put it into here, right next into the forward walking. So when we are around, you know, 90 degrees uh, onto the right, it will be playing the going right. And then the same with the left, running here next to the idle when the direction is a bit uh, minus 90 degrees and then um, the speed will be again more than 50 so it's moving basically now in our backwards animations if we go where is it uh where is it backwards here it is uh we want to basically place it all into the left so basically when the direction will be uh from minus 180 into uh, 180 degrees so basically you will see that now if i hold control and start moving the mouse around you will see that well basically when the speed is zero it will not move but when we are going forward in a uh you know normal direction just looking forward it will go sprinting if we go a bit into the right like 90 degrees it will play the normal animation and if we start going backwards more than 180 degrees it will go well into the animation of backwards and the same with the left but of course uh just opposite so there we go we have our animation set up now you can close uh, of course have more depth in it and have a another animation in between left and backwards so you can basically like put in here so we will blend but the cool thing about blend spaces it will automatically blend it for us as you can see kind of blending the backwards animation with the left so in my case i'm not gonna add any going backwards and left animation and stuff of course if you have the animation you can just add it you know in between so it's smoother but in my case i'm not gonna add it because the blend space will kind of do it for us okay so now we can actually save and let's go ahead and create an animation blueprint so we can go ahead and place 
all the blend space on there and pass all the parameters that we need such as the speed and velocity etc so let's go ahead and create a new animation blueprint again with the same skeleton which will be the sk mannequin and then um i'm gonna go ahead and put here strafe and name blueprint so let's go ahead and open this up so you can see that we have the anime graph here with the output post well i'm just gonna go ahead and find the strafe blend space over here and just drag it and then i'm just gonna plug that into the result over here great so now we need to plug in our direction and speed so just right click and promote it into a variable in both of them so we'll basically create the variables that we need and now we're gonna go into the event graph because in here we're gonna go ahead and basically get our character and stuff so we're gonna add a new initialize event blueprint initialize animation which is kind of like the beginning play and what you're going to do is just basically cast to the uh, third person character and then what we're going to do is basically go ahead and save this into variable which is going to be basically our character so then later on in the update we're going to just access our character and we don't have to directly cast in the update because that will uh, basically consume a lot of performance so the first thing that we want to do is basically get the velocity which go down over here and now you will see that this is a vector um, output so what we want to do is right click sorry uh, expand this and then it's going to be a vector length over here so we'll basically output it as a uh, you know, float so we can just get our speed you set it and then it will be this our vector length over here and now for our direction we want to do is just drag it over here we're gonna set it to uh sorry yeah set it i don't know why it, it bugged this widget over here is very annoying uh <laughs> but anyway okay we can deal with that i guess uh so what we want to do is just basically um get the character and then calculate well get the velocity sorry calculate direction there we go and then it's gonna plug in the velocity over here and then the base rotation we just want to get the character and get the uh, rotation get actor rotation there we go and just plug that in into our base rotation over here uh we cannot plug the target which is okay it will just be the self and then the return value will go into the action so there we go it will be adding that over here i don't know why that there we go the widget just disappeared it's okay great so now pretty much everything is set up with our uh, direction and our speed so now what we can do is go into our uh third person character blueprint go into the viewport we go uh okay just select a character and in the name crash we can just go ahead and play place our strafe and in blueprint you will see that now we have the shotgun pose over here now i will add a shotgun in a second just because it looks better but now you can see that when i go forward it will just play the forward animation when i stop the idle animation then uh, you will see that it when it goes backwards it will actually face the player which is not what we want but you can see that it's doing what we want now there's another thing that the animations are very snappy now we'll fix that then in a second but first of all let's fix the uh, strafe movement which is always looking forward to the camera so what you want to do is just go into the character mode component just go back down and now in the rotation settings instead of rotation uh you know rotate to the movement we want to uh just use control this high rotation so now it will be always facing the camera as you can see so now if we go forward it goes forward if we stop idle if we go left it will go left and then right it will go right and then backwards it will go backwards now let's fix the snappy movement over here this snappy movement so what we want to do is go into the blend space and the first thing i want to do is go into the white speed and want to increase this uh, around like 30. now there's another thing that we want to do and let's go into the uh, smoothing time in each of the axes and we want to increase it to around 0.35 and let's do the same on here with the vertical axis and there we go this should be much smoother now so if i go ahead and hit play you will see that now it's much smoother you can see and i can go you know left right forwards backwards etc and all it, everything just works perfectly fine and it just looks pretty good and pretty smooth as you can see over here so let me just quickly add a shotgun because it just looks better and there we go i just basically added the shotgun now it looks a bit more better you know it makes more sense and um and yeah that's pretty much it guys if you enjoyed the tutorial found it helpful i would really appreciate you like the video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal engine 5 to tell this one so uh if you want just check them out now yes we are said bye bye